Good day, everybody, and welcome back to Daily Devotions. Our daily devotion for today, Wednesday, May the 11th, comes to us from the book of Revelation. We're going to be looking at Revelation chapter 21, verses 1 to 6. When I Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them as their God. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning, crying, and pain will be no more. For the first things have passed away. And the one who is seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also he said, Write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Today's reading foresees the completed newness of God's inclusive community. God will dwell in community with all God's people and creation. Our God, who is the beginning and the end, is also the not yet and the now. Death, sorrow, pain, and thirst continue. They are part of the old that has not yet passed away. Nevertheless, God is with us in the now. Where do we find God's newness dwelling now? Do we find God's newness in our faith communities. We might find God's newness in businesses, schools, clubs, agencies, or parks. We could also find God's newness dwelling in encampments with people experiencing homelessness or in cultures very different from our own. Have you searched for God's newness? You may be surprised where you find God dwelling. So start your GPS, your God's position search, and join the newness of the inclusive, loving community you find. Let us pray. Alpha and Omega, we await a time that is not yet when you end all sorrow pain, and need. Help us find you now as you dwell in the newness of inclusive community. Amen. Grace and peace be with you this day and every day, and I look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Be well.